last engagements during her stay in Italy. There was a sympathetic reception for General MacArthur when he came to make his dramatic address to Congress. I address you with neither rancor nor bitterness. In the fading twilight of life, with one but with but one purpose in mind, to serve my country. I have been severely criticized in lay circles, principally abroad, despite my understanding that from a military standpoint, the above views have been fully shared in past by practically every military leader concerned with the Korean campaign, including our own Joint Chiefs of Staff. And he ended with this emotional description of himself. An old soldier who tried to do his duty as God gave him the light to see that duty. Goodbye. The scene in New York was emotional too. MacArthur's appearance evoked the greatest shower of confetti and ticker tape ever known. Millions of people lined the route as the general received the record ovation. Certainly it was an extraordinary homecoming after so long an absence abroad. Stripped of all his commands, but welcomed as a national hero. On the chart.